Thank you, Congresswoman um, Ayanna Presley. This country was founded on the radical idea that we are created equal and endowed by our creator with in, inalienable rights. And yes, we have a long way before we fully live up to those values. It is for this reason precisely that we have to take action when a president is openly violating the oath he took to the Constitution of the United States and the core values we aspire to. As Martin Luther King said, all we say to America is, be true to what you say on paper. I believe this is a pivotal moment in our country. The eyes of history is watching us. Right now, the president is carrying out mass deportation raids across this country in each one of our districts. Right now, the president is committing human rights abuses at the border, keeping children in cages and having human beings drinking out of toilets. This president, who has been credibly accused of committing multiple crimes, including colluding with foreign government to interfere with our election, this is a president who has overseen the most corrupt administration in our history and pursued an agenda to allow millions of Americans to die from a lack of health care while he transfers millions of dollars in tax cuts to corporations. This is a president who has said, grab women by the pussy. This is a president who's called black athletes sons of bitches. This is a president who has called black people who come from black and brown countries shitholes. This is a president who has equated neo-Nazis with those who protest against them in Charlottesville. This is a president who has openly violated the very value our country aspires to uphold. Equality under the law religious liberty, equal protection, and protection from persecution. And to distract from that, he's launching a blatantly racist attack on four duly elected members of the United States of House of Representatives, all of whom are women of color. This is the agenda of white nationalists. Whether it is happening in chat rooms, or it's happening on national TV, and now it's reached the White House garden. He would love nothing more than to divide our country based on race, religion, gender, orientation, or immigration status, because this is the only way he knows he can prevent the solidarity of us working together across all of our differences. The only way to prevent us confronting the problems our country is facing, whether it is health care, climate change, student debt, or our endless wars. This is his plan to pit us against one another. This is how he can continue to enrich his friends and distract us from the detrimental policies that his administration is pushing forth. So we can either continue to enable this president and report on the bile of garbage that comes out of his mouth, or we can hold him accountable to his crimes. We can continue to turn a blind eye of the multiple crimes he's accused of. We can stand while he violates peace people's basic human rights and the responsibility the, the responsibility that his administration has for the deaths of children on our border, or we can take action. I have not made impeachment central to my election or my tenure, but since the day that I'd gotten elected, I'd said to people, it is not how, if he will be impeached, but when. So it is time for us to stop allowing this president to make a mockery out of our constitution. It's time for us to impeach this president.